trading to Syria was the Quraysh main way of living. This was the only way they could get merchandise that could not be produced in Mecca, such as frankincense, food, incense, precious metals, spices, leather. Attacking trade routes of the Quraysh meant shutting off their source of living. Nine months after Hijra, on March, 623 AD, Muhammad ordered his uncle, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, to attack the Quraysh caravan that will pass Alice to go to Syria. He gave Hamza the Islamic man. <laughs> then Hamza lead 30 Muslim Muhajirin to go to Alice. None of Muslim Ansars participated in this raid. Alice was located along the shoreline in Johanna territory, not far from Medina. The Quraysh caravan consisted of 300 riders, lead by Abu al-Hakam or Father of Wisdom. Muhammad used to call him Abu Jahal or Father of Ignorance, because he hated him. Look, we're under attack. <laughs> that is Hamza. In the past he was a wild hunter, now he becomes a wild Muslim marauder. Give us your belongings. Apparently, Muhammad reduced you to just a mere thief, huh? How Hamza dare you? And Abu Jahal almost broke into a Stop. fight, but Stop. interceded by Majdi bin Amir al Juhani. We are much stronger than you all. Hamza realized that the Quraysh caravan was too strong for him and his army. He decided to leave and return back to Medina empty handed. Hamza failed to do this first jihad because he had no adequate experience. All of this for nothing, Allah ordered us to rob infidels, but forget to teach us how. Muhammad ordered Ubaidah bin al-Harith to lead the Muslims to attack the Quraysh caravan in April 623 AD. The Muslims reached Thani Tomura a water spring in Hijaz. Look, those are the Meccans. They are too far away. Saad, try to stop them with your arrow. Yes sir. The leader of the caravan was Abu Sufyan, which was the head of the Quraysh people in Mecca. Look, the Muslims try to rob us again. Run, go faster. The Meccan merchants picked up their pace to save their lives. Don't go away. Leave your property for us. But the Muslims could not reach the caravan since their position was too far away. Darn, we will go hungry again. Muhammad decided to lead the Muslims to attack the Quraysh caravan at al Abwa on August, 623 AD. If you want to get it right, you gotta to do it yourself. The assault that was lead directly by Muhammad is called Ghazwa, plural is Ghazawa, while the assault lead by Muslim is called Saria, plural is Saria. Prophet Muhammad was quite disappointed when he found out that he missed the Quraysh caravan. They already passed this area, Ya Rasulullah. Man, it's not easy to rob them. After the failure at Abwa, Prophet Muhammad heard a news from his spy. Yurazalola, the leader of the Quraysh, Abu Sufyan, lead the Meccan merchants to go to Syria. They will pass al -Ushera. Alhamdulillah, Allah gives us another opportunity. Prophet Muhammad led 200 Muslims to attack the Quraysh caravan in al ashera in November, 623 AD. This was his third Ghazwa. 
but the Quraysh already predicted the attack plan, so they passed the area faster. Prophet Muhammad was too late to ambush the Quraysh caravan. Hurry, hurry! We have to pass this area before those robbers find out about us. Once again, the Quraysh traders managed to avoid Prophet Muhammad and his bandit soldiers. I think they already passed this area, Razalala. They may slip away this time, but we will get our chance when they return from Syria. Muhammad commanded five caravan raids against the Quraysh. Each time they failed, and licked their wounds for days. He said I was the one who ordered them to rob all infidel. The right way to do it, Allah did not tell. Other than the gift of God, Mo had no other skill. He had to keep on trying. It's just a bad till he got it right. Four followers kept crying. I thought he finally got it right and could not be proud. He'll get a career as Allah's prophet and a caravan marauder. <laughs>